Hello, and welcome to the 26th episode of LGBTQIA+, Heroes, Icons, Legends, and Events. This series of programs covers a wide variety of topics, including singer-songwriter Freddie Mercury, beloved gay icons Judy Garland and Liza Minnelli, and activist Marsha P. Johnson. LGBTQ plus youth face many challenges. Let's start today's episode with some statistics. Over half of LGBTQ plus students report feeling unsafe in their schools, and 82% have experienced harassment and bullying firsthand at school. LGBTQ plus youth are subjected to twice the amount of bullying and harassment as their straight peers. Over 70% of students say that LGBTQ plus topics are not included in their classroom curriculums. More than 30% miss school regularly because they feel unsafe or uncomfortable. Over 40% of LGBTQ plus youth feel uncomfortable and unaccepted at home. 80% of LGBTQ plus youth feel socially isolated. Over half of all LGBTQ plus students of color have been victims of discrimination and bullying because of their race or ethnicity. Today's episode discusses the annual Student-Led Day of Action to recognize and protest the discrimination and harassment of LGBTQ plus students. Today we'll talk about the Day of Silence. The Day of Silence was organized in 1996 at the University of Virginia as a class project on nonviolent protest. Students Maria Polzetti and Jesse Gilliam felt that complaints and concerns about bullying of LGBTQ students were being ignored, so they planned the project for Pride Week at the university. More than 150 students participated. In 1997, the Day of Silence was observed nationwide and students at 100 colleges and universities participated. The Gay, Lesbian, and Straight Education Network, GLSEN, became the official sponsor in 2001. With more funding, volunteers, and staff, GLSEN supports student efforts, but the events are still very much student-led. Bullying and harassment, whether verbal or physical, are harmful to the victims and also impact the schools and community. Schools are encouraged to observe the Day of Silence, and students can get permission from school administrations to organize and participate in events to commemorate the day. Participants demonstrate their support with colorful signs and posters. They observe silence with their hands or tape or both over their mouths. At the end of the observance, a rally, speaking event, or theatrical production can illustrate how bullying, name-calling, and intimidation silence the victims and harm their self-confidence. On April 25, 2008, the Day of Silence was dedicated to 15-year-old biracial student Lawrence King. Lawrence, or Letitia as he liked to call himself, hung out with his female friends at E.O. Green Junior High School in Oxnard, California. He was bullied by the male students when he started wearing women's clothing and makeup. He responded by teasing the bullies, telling them that they were attractive, and asking if he could sit with them in the cafeteria. One of the students, Brandon McEnerney, a known white supremacist, became the target of Lawrence's taunts. Lawrence went on the basketball court during a game to ask Brandon to be his valentine. Later, Lawrence called out, Love you, baby, as he passed Brandon in the hallway. Brandon reportedly told Lawrence's friends to say goodbye because, quote, you will never see him again. During a computer class on February 12, 2008, Brandon pulled a gun out of his book bag and shot Lawrence twice in the back of his head. Lawrence died of his injuries two days later. A writer for Newsweek magazine called the murder, quote, the most prominent gay bias crime since the 1998 murder of Matthew Shepard. Brandon's first trial in the summer of 2011 was declared a mistrial when the jury could not reach a unanimous verdict. Later that year, in November 2011, Brandon pled guilty to second-degree murder and voluntary manslaughter. He was sentenced to 21 years in prison and is serving his sentence in the California Correctional Center. On October 28, 2009, the Matthew Shepard and James Byrd Jr. Hate Crimes Prevention Act was signed into law by President Barack Obama. Matthew Shepard's parents and James Byrd Jr.'s sisters attended the ceremony. A hate crime or bias crime is defined by law as, quote, a crime, usually an assault or a property crime like vandalism or graffiti, 
where the offender targets his or her victim specifically due to one or more personal characteristics such as race, ethnicity, religion, national origin, disability, sexual orientation, gender, gender identity, or gender expression. Matthew Shepard, who was tortured and murdered in Wyoming in 1998, was a victim of an anti-gay hate crime. James Byrd Jr. was murdered in 1998 because of his race. This law and other legislation have been put into place to outlaw and deter hate crimes. Every year, the Day of Silence is observed on the second Friday of April. Over 10,000 people from all 50 states and countries around the world participate yearly. The Day of Silence grows bigger every year as people are becoming more aware of the issues faced by LGBTQIA plus youth. The day is also facing opposition from schools, parents, and communities, and organizations that consider the events to be disruptive and supportive of homosexuality. In 2023, the theme for the Day of Silence is Rising Up. To know more about the Day of Silence, visit the Gay, Lesbian, and Straight Education Network website, glsen.org. To know more about supporting our LGBTQIA plus community, visit our website, GwinnettPL.org, to check out the following suggested items. Coming Around, Parenting Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, and Transgender Kids by Ann Dorenwind. LGBTQ, The Survival Guide for Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender, and Questioning Teens by Kelly Madrona. The Pride Guide, a Guide to Sexual and Social Health for LGBTQ Youth by Joe Langford. Queer, the Ultimate LGBTQ Guide for Teens by Kathy Belge. Raising LGBTQ Allies, a Parent's Guide to Changing the Messages from the Playground by Chris Tompkins. We Are Everywhere, Protest, Power and Pride and the History of Queer Liberation by Matthew Reamer. Also, visit our website's digital resources to discover Canopy, our streaming service. Canopy has a wide selection of films and documentaries about LGBTQIA topics. Thank you for watching.